Hi, so for our patient, um, this is the parasternal long axis view of the heart. You can see here in the aortic valve, it's pretty calcified. It's opening slightly, but not well. You get the sense that there's probably going to be a moderate or a severe amount of aortic stenosis. So we're now looking at the short axis view, this is the aortic valve on FOSS, looking at the three leaflets. Don't see it so well, um, it sort of has difficult windows. You see that it's really restricted in how much it's opening. Um, so now the real kicker is we're going to take a look at the velocities across the aortic valve. So velocities is uh, basically we're going to look at how fast the blood is flowing across the aortic valve. The faster the flow is, the more likely there is going to be stenosis. Um, so looking at the velocities across the aortic valve, we're getting values of about 300s or so. The text got um, a velocity of about 309, which is really the highest that she got. So really is considered with moderate aortic stenosis. Um, and a, usually a mean gradient, um, a, a, a pressure gradient across the valve, just, so the mean pressure differential across the valve, uh, get, uh, we use a cutoff of about 24 to 40 as moderate range. Uh, he, he doesn't really quite even make the moderate range. So I'm gonna, despite the way the valve looks, um, the number seems to suggest a um, moderate aortic uh, valve stenosis. And the text and I both got um, an aortic valve area of about 1.2. I got about one3 Three, so all is consistent with a moderate aortic stenosis. So this patient will likely need um, echocardiograms every six months to a year to make sure that the AS hasn't progressed. And hopefully, he um, if it if it does, he may be a good candidate for TAVR in the future.